Welcome back to another episode in the Hot Fixing the LFL series, the series where we take the teams one by one, apply a day one patch, a hot fix if you would, and uh, just iron out the most glaring problems at the beginning of the new season. The off season moves are included, as is the 2024 draft. This is a custom roster file, and with that said, let's start. The ambitions of the Bills, of course, are to kind of compete for uh, the championship, uh, for the title. Uh, they would like to hit the Super Bowl once, I think. So far, that hasn't worked out too well, uh, but whatever. I think we have to keep that in mind when improving the team. Uh, immediately, I think the right guard position is one that we really need to address. Uh, the tight end group is looking really, really good. Um, the wide receivers questionable i would say um, it's not bad it's not horrible but again we might be able to just you know shift that a little bit uh, the running back group is looking very nice uh, they even have a dedicated fullback which is awesome uh, josh allen is an x-factor quarterback so no issues there the defense is usually pretty good um, and again looking at it i like it i like the d tackles i like the left edge and the right edge that's von miller right there uh, we're looking at a pretty solid uh, cornerback situation. Uh, we're looking at a good free safety situation right there. We're looking at fantastic linebackers um, and actually a pretty good strong safety as well. Mind you, the uh, 84 B, uh, defense here is more of a true medium. All right, all of the players are around the high 70, mid 80 mark. So that's a true medium um, and not one that has a uh, large outliers uh, coming uh, you know in from the sides I do think that the right guard is something that we will have to address I would also like to give a true uh, wide receiver number one to uh, Josh Allen uh, but yeah let's see how that one goes again we're also going to be looking at the team in a little bit more detail I don't want to do a deep dive a complete deep dive here uh, but we're just going to be kind of getting to know the the players behind the starters so anyways uh, again running backs not not going to be changed that fullback no need wide receivers we're going to be look at looking at that later on i do want to do that tight end nope uh left tackle is good left guard is good center is good enough um right guard is a problem we're backfilling here so this might be an issue right tackle I actually like this one as well left edge looking very nice right edge looking very nice uh, D tackles looking fantastic. We've got very good players there. Left outside linebackers, nice. Uh, mid linebacker, super solid. Right outside linebacker, Matt Milano's great. Um, the cornerbacks looking great. Free safety is looking serviceable. Mike Edwards here, 27.75. Not an area of need, um, especially Cole Bishop, the rookie, coming up through the ranks. Taylor Rapp, super solid safety. Uh, the kicker, Tyler Bass, and uh, Sam Martin, the punter. All right, so we've got a done deal. We're sending Curtis Samuel. And actually, a lot of trade capital to the Browns, who need trade capital back after their Deshaun Watson trade, where they did give up a lot of that. But we're getting a fantastic uh, wide receiver, number one, uh, who will really help Josh Allen uh, achieve his goals and targets. All right, so here we go. This is the Hotfix Bills <laughs> team overview. What did we do? Well, I added Mark Lewinsky, not because he's, a, he's such a fantastic game-changing right guard here, but he just offers more experience compared to these younger players who just need some time to grow. But as soon as they have a sort of uh, reached a level of familiarity with the NFL, uh, grown to a certain level, then I think that they will be able to take over and he will be out. He's only on a one-year deal anyway, so there we go. Plus, the big change is we added Amari Cooper. This is a true wide receiver number one, a superstar player here for uh, for Josh Allen uh, to throw the ball to. Um, he's got Dalton Knox here. He's got uh, Dalton Kincaid. Um, awesome stuff. He's got James Cook. He's got such a good, good group of players, but he does need a true wide receiver number one um, that, that that is just going to complement him in tough games and be there ready to step up etc etc i didn't change anything on defense i really think the defense is looking very good there's enough backfield material here to really shuffle things around but even that is not really needed um it's looking super solid uh for the season to come 
um, we actually did improve uh, the overall error so slightly but uh, it's it's not even not even something that I'm going to be talking about too much because I don't give too much to these numbers. I really think we changed the face here. It's a way more competitive team now. Should be able to really hold their own. And uh, yeah, that's basically that. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. It's a rather short one. Not a lot of changes happening. Um, but do let me know what you think of the changes that I suggested. Uh, let me know what you think of uh, the players I brought in. Uh, do you see areas that need more change? Do you need areas that need help? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I love talking to you, love interacting with you guys. Um, as always, if you liked it, please drop a like. Please subscribe. It means a lot to me. Uh, stay awesome, everybody. Stay safe and see you next time. Hey.